today I'm going to show you a camp mat I found online. It's actually a camp stretcher. So this is the bag. Um, I have links in the description if you want to check it out. It's pretty cool. I, f I found it actually camping. So I was camping in my tent, uh, sleeping mat, and then some motorbike riders showed up and they had this thing and I thought this was the best thing ever. Like, I've never seen anything more lightweight and more, like, it gets you 10 centimeters off the ground approximately and it's just like a stretcher it's 1.3 kilos heavy you could take it hiking i guess it'd be very heavy to take hiking but you wouldn't be sleeping on the rocks so to demonstrate that i've got a big rock so that you don't be sleeping on the rocks so it, it comes in a little baggy um i think it's waterproof i wouldn't really trust it to be waterproof though um so this this costs 74 dollars on amazon um, it basically comes with a bunch of poles and a bunch of plastic circles. So these poles here make up the stretcher bed. So if you fold them out, they'll make two poles. And then you use those two poles to make the stretcher. So now you have two poles at 1800 long. So you get like, you get all these poles here. I think there's 20 in total. So you need two poles for uh, one line of the stretcher. And then this material here is the stretcher material. And then these little circle thingies, very odd shape, but they are actually what keeps you off the ground. So what happens is, so you grab a orange and a green, and then you slide them inside of each other like so and then you get your little green thing and you slide that through there and then you have the pole going through the green thing and then on the other side you do the same thing so you put another green thing on that side and then that's what supports your mat like that so see how there's two holes here so if in the middle of the mattress you can use two poles. So two poles will actually fit in that and you'll be able to use two poles in the middle. That would just give you more support. So that's what it looks like. It's a bit odd looking, but it works great. Okay, so you make six of these up. So you get a lot more poles than what you need. So these just connect into here. So an orange and a green one, just like so. They just slide into here. And there's no particular order or faster way to do this other than just doing it just get some uh, elbow grease in there punch it out so as you can see I've made six of them so six groups and there's four poles left over so what you can do is you can put them together and put them in the middle ones. So the stretcher, you might need more support. You don't always need more support, but I'm gonna put some more support in there. Now these you might actually need to separate and do it both at the same time. So just like so. And then same again, I'm just gonna go with this one. Just like so. So I've got two of two and then four with one. So that's, that's basically what keeps you off the ground or off the rocks. And then this is the stretcher material. So this folds out, you put the poles that we made earlier in there, and then I'll show you how it goes together. So this is the little canvas you get, and this has little holes in it. You see that? Little holes where you slide the poles in from. Now there's only meant to be one way where you can slide the poles in. The first time I made this up, I slid it in the wrong way and then I had to unslide it in. There'll be a hole at the top. A hole at the top of it. Like that. And then you grab your pole that you made earlier, slide it through that hole. So then see how you get See how in the middle here you get these little holes. Yeah, hold it. 
little hole here, little hole here, there for the bit to attach into. And then this is your stretcher that you use. So I'm just going to do the other side at the moment. This is what the stretcher looks like. It'll sit like that on the ground. I, I like to start off with the ones in the middle. So with the ones in the middle, I put them in the middle where they belong. So it's quite a difficult task, but once you get the hang of it, it's quite simple. The ones with two are very difficult. So do them first so that you've got more energy to do the next ones. Like that. Do the ones at the ends first, just like so. That one is so easy compared to the other one. So this would be the perfect, perfect camping one for your car. It'd be okay for hiking if you wanted to carry around a one and a half kilo mat. Um, but if you want to do that, stay off the ground, you do that because it works really well. So I've gone ahead and found the most uneven piece of ground I can find. So I've got the, as you can see, it's pretty uneven. Like you're not going to sleep on this on a normal daily basis. You'd normally try and find something a little bit stabler. Probably can't really see how uneven it is. But if you look at this rear leg, it's not even touching. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't normally set up camp on something like this uneven. But this is just to demonstrate. So it does creak when you sit on it, but I've got nothing to worry about. If you lie down, I'm not even touching the ground. You probably can't see it, but I can stick my hand all the way through before it even touches. Now, staring into the sun probably isn't the best idea to film a video, but like this, this is bloody comfortable, I've got to be honest. This is so comfortable. I could literally lie here all day if it wasn't 35 degrees and I wasn't staring into the sun. But I'm not lying on the ground at all. I'm so I'm going to go sit in the middle there and I'll just show you how far down it comes. So you should be able to see straight through still. So I'm going to sit on it in the middle here and this would be all my weight in one spot. So I'm putting it between it. Now, I'm getting pretty close to the bottom, I can, I can feel. But I'm like, that's me sitting on it. If I'm lying down, all my weight's spread out, and it's not as much as a problem. If I'm on my side, it normally gets to a problem with most sleep mats because your hips rub on the ground. But with this one, I can't even feel the ground at all. <laughs> like I said, it's hard to sleep in 35 degrees heat in the sun but it is bloody comfortable it's a nice chair as well i'll time it just so you know so it's 502 sorry my bad 503 just changed just now It's all packed up now. That took me like like five minutes. 